Tonight, let's be honest, you all felt the pressure and the challenge of leading the kitchen in the middle of service. We all had some highs and we all had some lows. Agreed? Yes, yes chef. chef. I want all four of you to go back to the dorms, please, and tell me the one person that you do not think belongs in the final. Yes, yes chef. chef. Off you go. It's always hard to nominate someone, and when it's down to final four people, it's definitely even harder. I'm battling with myself, trying to process everything through my mind right now, and uh, I think I have a decision. Man, I got this, y'all. <clears throat> I don't feel like I've been the weakest person here. I feel like I've proved myself day after day. I've taken all the punishments, I've kept positive, I've kept pushing, but... I'm gonna put myself up. Oh my God. Dude. Holy fucking curveball, Mato. So what you're trying to say is that you're trying to go home tonight? I guess so. Are you sure? I am sure. One of you should take the position in Vegas, is what I'm saying. I would never give up on any of y'all. But I also can't give up on my friends and my family back home. And I gotta, I gotta accept that. I'm not one to give up on anything, but uh, I think at the end of the day, the place I need to be is, is back home. I want to go back. I want to start a family. I want to raise the culinary standard in Baton Rouge. That's what I've been working on the last five years. I'm not ready to give up on that. Did you just come to this conclusion right now? It's been in the back of my mind. OK. I am the support system for so many people back home. It's what I do. I, I want to go back and further the mentoring that I do to people. I want to take all this that I've learned here and I couldn't get exposed to and expose all these people back home with this information. That scene is not going to change itself. It takes so much for a person to say something like that. And when you witness someone really, really understanding that they know exactly where they want to be, it's just an amazing thing to witness. Oh, Mono. Wow. One thing I do know is I can go back to Baton Rouge and I can make that town 10 times better. That just made me cry. And, and pick people up and push people, including myself. I still got work to do back home. Black Jacket team, I asked you to nominate one chef that does not belong in the finale. Have you come to a decision on that? Yes, chef. Was it difficult? I wouldn't say it wasn't difficult, chef, but we did come to a decision. I put forth myself. It... Sorry. Uh... Tell me why. Chef, this has been an incredible journey. You're offering this great platform of Vegas, and there's not a give up bone in my body. And I don't want to give up on Baton Rouge. I want to go back and share this wealth of knowledge that you've given me to elevate that town's culinary scene, because it's not going to do it on its own. And I feel like that's the place I need to be. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised, but I respect your decision. Mother, step forward. You know, never before across this competition have I met a chef as sincere as you. So whilst I accept your decision, I want you to accept this from me. Once you're done in Baton Rouge and you're ready for the next move, call me. Yes, chef. Thank you for the opportunity, chef. Oh, man. It's OK, but you're the fucking man. See you guys later. Oh, bless, Mato. Bye, Mato. And then there were three. But even though Motto has left the competition, only two chefs will be competing in the finale. 
Somebody else will be leaving right now. Ariel, why do you think you deserve to be in the Hell's Kitchen finale? Chef, I think I've shown you that I have grown immensely over the last nine years. And when I came into this competition, I wasn't entirely sure if this is where I belonged, but I know that this is where I belong now. I want to go to the next level in my career. I'm ready for this challenge, and I'm ready for Las Vegas, Chef. Brett. I'm just extremely focused and extra determined and hungry. I've only grown as a person, as a chef, and I feel like I'm ready for Vegas. I feel like Vegas is ready for me. I have what it takes to be that next chef. Mia. Chef, throughout the whole competition, I've showed my skill set and creativity. I've pushed myself beyond limits that I didn't think I could achieve. Yes, you know, I've, I've had screw ups, but I'm constantly learning, and I feel like I would be an asset to your company and to your restaurant. Thank you, Mia. OK, I'm ready to announce now the first person moving on into the finale is Ariel. Thank you, Chef. Bless Ariel. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Amazing. Thank you. Bless Congratulations. Bless Ariel. Good for you, girl. Thank you. Young lady, how do you feel? Five. I feel fucking amazing, Chef. You've been one of the most consistent performers across this competition. And the change since season six is incredible. Thank you. I'm ready to, I'm ready to fight for this to the end, Chef. Brett and Mia, you've both had real highlights in this competition. Brett, you came out the gate strong, young man. You put everybody on notice with that incredible risotto. And it's still today on the Hell's Kitchen menu. Mia, you struck early in the competition too. Perfect score on your signature dish. One of the most consistent performers in every challenge in the history of this competition. The second person moving on to the grand finale alongside Ariel is... Mia, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mia. Thank you, thank you. Come here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good job. I made it to the finale. <laughs> and I've chef. taken so much crap from so many people, but none of it matters because I'm here. You better fucking win. Young man, come here. Listen carefully. You're probably one of the most passionate chefs ever to grace this floor. Right now, I know your parents are looking down and are absolutely in awe of what you've done. And I wish you nothing but the best. Bless, Chef. I don't want that jacket. From the bottom of my heart, Chef, thank you. Gosh, Chef, thank you. You know, if you're ever in full order, he'll again hit me up, Chef. Thank yes. you for everything. No, it sucks that I didn't win, but I'm blessed to have been back in this opportunity. Next up, the Italian stallion. <laughs> Brett. What brought me back is my passion. You OK? Yeah. Just taste my risotto. My risotto is on the Hell's Kitchen menu. Brett. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Ah. With extreme passion comes extreme emotion. Highs and lows, you know? What happened? I'm back, ain't I? I see tears. What happened? The tears of joy, yo. For me, it's hearty, delicious. Rustic gnocchi catapulted into the Premier League of items on the menu. It was a crazy journey. I've learned so much. Yeah. I could write a book yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah mama, this one's for you right. right there. With the death of both my parents, I gave two angels. The reason I'm a chef is because of my parents. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know my parents are real proud of me. I know they're proud. Of me.